Your Toyota Sports Report, the Route 11 rivalry taking place on the baseball diamond Sunday afternoon as the St. Lawrence Saints host to the Clarkson Golden Knights in Liberty League play. Bottom one, Saints down 1-0 when Timothy Connor goes deep. A solo home run to right, tying the game at one. Bottom six, Clarkson up 9-7 when Sean Desjardins doubles to right field. Both Jimmy Liberatore and Jackson Brinker score, tying the game at nine. Still in the sixth, John Donnellan doubles into the left field corner. Both Huck Hahn and Desjardins score. Saints up nine, 11 to nine. Tynan Cree follows with a base hit to left. Donnellan scores. Saints go on to beat Clarkson 13 to 11. One college softball score from today, it was St. Lawrence nipping Union 5 to 4. Boys High School across Potsdam by two over Canton. Messina defeats OFA. Salmon River, a winner over St. Lawrence Central. One girls lacrosse score. It was Potsdam defeating Malone 20 to 2. Sunday morning in Rodman, the South Jeff Little League kicked off its 51st season with opening ceremonies. Around 290 youths and 24 teams from U6, U8, U10, and U12 levels will be taking part this season. Games will be taking place almost every night over the next two months all over southern Jefferson County. And league president Matt Burdick says the league is looking for umpires once again this season. Yes, we are looking for volunteer umpires for the U10 level. Uh, the umpires for U10 would be paid by our league if they're willing. They just have to have some knowledge of the game of baseball and uh, be willing to work with our coaches. Well, it's not too often an Olympic silver medalist is in Watertown, but on Saturday at the Fairgrounds Ice Arena, a decorated women's figure skater was on the ice for a clinic put on by the Figure Skating Club of Watertown. Saturday was the final day of skating for the 2022-23 season at the Watertown Municipal Ice Arena. And the Figure Skating Club of Watertown made the most of the final day the ice was down by hosting a special clinic with a special guest instructor. So we have the Olympic Dreams Clinic with Karen Chen as well as some um, very high level coaches that is here to um, mainly focus on our junior cedar, senior competitive track skaters, but we also have learned to skate today, and those are the ones that have started a program and are um, now on the competition track as well. Headlining the clinic was two-time Olympian and 2022 Olympic team silver medalist, Karen Chen, whose resume also includes a U.S. figure skating national championship and a silver medal and three bronze medals in the U.S. nationals. Chen says she hopes her appearance in Watertown helps to inspire some of these up-and-coming figure skaters like she was at a very young age. I was actually really lucky. I met Chrissy Yamaguchi when I was younger, and she really inspired me. I had her sign my skate and everything, um, and I remember having her sign my right skate because I told myself, like, oh, she's going to bring so much luck to my right skate, and that's my landing side, and I really needed that. Figure skaters participating in the clinic came from Central New York and the North Country and ranged in age from eight years old to adult. And those taking part say it was both exciting and inspiring to have an Olympian on hand to give them some tips and lessons as they look to hone their skills on the ice. I've been working with Karen on and off for the past couple years since um, Cornell is not too far from where I am. So being able to come to these seminars and also just get some more time with her is really cool, especially because she has so many amazing experiences and she's able to share her stories with us. It's really cool because my coaches are teaching here too, so they know my limits and they can help me actually work. And I've skated with Karen before and she like taught me a few things that I never thought I could do. Chen says the message she would like to leave with these figure skaters is to never give up and be resilient in a sport that has its share of ups and downs. We fall down all the time and getting up is just like second nature to us and that's something that I think is so cool about this sport. Like falling is so normal. Like I fall all the time. Sometimes I'll just hit a topic and I just fall and you just get back up and then you just try again. And I think that that's just such an important lesson for everyone to learn. Lessons these figure skaters hope one day take them to the heights that Karen Chen has reached on the ice.